I called him a few times, no response. I kept calling him, no response. Evidently, it wasn't meant for me to see him die. I wasn't used to that, but I had to get used to it. And I, He was driving, drinking, and shouldn't have been down outside of Stevenson, and he had a wreck, and it broke his back. Mm -hmm. different place, Didn't though. he die in here on the floor? In front in of the our, wood stove? In oh. the kitchen. Wasn't unusual, though, for him to get out of the bed because I had been up with him that night. So about 3 o'clock in the morning, we went back to bed, and he went to sleep, and then so did I. And I got up to cook breakfast to go to work, and he was laying there on the floor, and that wasn't unusual. There's an electric heater sitting there under the window, and he'd lay down said the heat helped him ease his pain. Mm. I called him a few times, no response. I kept calling him, no response. And I think it was Dennis that went out to, it had stormed that night and knocked the phones out and everything. He'd been dead, they said, a couple of hours. Mm. I said that was the only time that he ever got out of the bed without me knowing it, cause I slept in front, and he slipped behind against the wall, and he'd crawl over me to get out.